joining us in welcoming the Theater of Public Policy. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi. What is this? What is this? TEDx St. Paul? Hello, everybody. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Burn. Oh. Hi. My name is Tane Danger. I uh, am one of the co founders of the Theater of Public Policy. Uh, quick round of applause. How many people have never seen the Theater of Public Policy before? That is the most applause we get in a show. What we do normally is that we have a very smart person who joins us on stage and we bring to life all of the things that that person says. And we do this at shows every Monday here in Minneapolis. But tonight is different because we had a plethora of amazingly smart, wonderful people who all spoke tonight and our amazing cast, Carmen O'Halloran, Andrew Haheim, Corey Fulham, Brandon Boat, Jim Robinson, and Chad Dutton on the piano have been listening all night and they are going to take everything that we have learned and heard tonight and bring it to life on stage through entirely unscripted improv comedy. That means everything that they do is entirely made up off the top of their heads. So be generous uh, and make a big round of applause for the Theater of Public Policy. Ready. <clears throat> All right, buddy. Now you're the you're the pilot here. I know you're going to take really good care of them. Uh, the the honeymoon couple's coming out right now. Okay. Uh, and they they told me earlier that they're a little afraid of helicopters. All right. Oh. Uh, you know, I'm sorry. <laughs> Helicopters seem to be just a thousand pieces of machinery conspiring to kill you. The last so, time I was in a helicopter, I was very afraid! I hear this you. This should be a better experience! I understand you. Oh. I'm here to have a good time! You're gonna have a great time. Good! I just thought it'd be nice to buy you a helicopter in case we don't last very long as a couple and we'll have an excuse. Why would you do this to me? Because I'm ambivalent about getting married. <laughs> Now, don't you worry, because we have the safest, latest design. It is a helicopter with a single moving part. <laughs> this guy's got the reins. If you could just step into the aircraft. Step, step, step under the aircraft. Nothing to worry about, folks. Now, all we're going to do is launch yeah. you into the air in a very, very specific way that usually works most, most of the, the time. time. <laughs> and most after you're airborne, you'll be spinning a lot. I have vertigo. That's, That's okay. Great. Just hook the vomit bag right up. Oh. <gasps> you are walking really well. You're just the best pedestrian I've ever seen. Come on. I you can do it. What are you doing in that vacant lot? Why are I'm you? Just, <laughs> I'm so lonely. And... Oh, hi, hi. <laughs> hey. Oh. <laughs> hey, come on. I'm, I'm trying to be a, a welcoming. A welcoming sidewalk. Oh, this I is a user <laughs> inter it's a very uh, expansive experience. I feel like for the you. sidewalk has claimed me. Yeah, That's great. Yes, yeah. yes. You belong yes. here. This is incredible. See how wide I am? Oh my oh. gosh. Wow. <laughs> Honey, look at the news. What's this <laughs> what's this here climate change? That isn't a thing. All this melting ice means nothing. Yeah! God's just really mad about our choices. Oh, yeah, totally, honey. You know what? I'm going to go out there and I'm going to protest all these laws they're making for this here climate change. All right, well, here's your power stick. I've got a power staff for fighting all the changes. Are you using the resources okay? Everything good? Because I got 
999,999,999 more species to talk to while I'm here. I thought I'd check in with you first. You're making a lot of ruckus. I'm making a lot of ruckus because climate change is ruining our species. And who's responsible for climate change? Not me, that's for sure. <laughs> Meanwhile, 200 <laughs> years earlier. Clip to clap. <laughs> Look at how much foot traffic there is! <laughs> you know, with all of this, I, I can't imagine that they're ever going to really have data on our, on our foot traffic, but, you know, now that we've finally got a place to live out here in the dead center that will surely be the future United States, <laughs> can't help but feel like maybe there's something philosophically wrong with what we're doing. You know, like, maybe this idea that we own the planet, and we'll ultimately change it, is not going to prove to be very helpful. I like this narrative. I like this narrative. I'd like to do it. <laughs> they say that... They say that babies are, are totally helpless when they're born, but we're going to prove them wrong. Come on, come on. No, you're punching. Come on, baby. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You're going to fend for yeah. yourself. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. You are not going to be a leech on society. You are going to just take on those other babies. Yeah, wah, that's wah, right. Wah. Yeah, there you go. Hey, hey, there you go. You're a teether. You're a teether. Yeah, you you can... owe me a bottle of juice, you bum baby! Yeah, well I got some Gerber right here! Oh yeah! Hey, why are any of those kids being loud? We should have signed them some books! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. You gonna... Books! Yeah! Books for women! You. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, I present to you the most self-sufficient baby ever born. He can do everything that an adult can, and he's only a few minutes old. Oh yeah? Tell him. Prove it! Tell him. I am the very model of a modern major baby. <gasps> See? I'm convinced! Yeah. <laughs> Anybody who knows Gilbert and Sullivan at birth is obviously very equipped for the modern world. Mammals kick <laughs> ass. Hey, fingers. Fingers, I am so tired of the thumb getting all the attention. I know! There are, oh, there oh. are th Don't come it through! Don't come it through! Oh. oh my gosh, the thumb thinks it's so amazing because it can bend all over the place and touch anything and grab stuff. Try being the pinky. I, know. I can't even imagine, yeah, I mean. Well, oh, thumb, thank you so much for paying for those scholarships for my kids. You're the best! Mm -mm -mm. Huh? The thumb is short and fat and stupid as far as I'm concerned. The people who wear a ring on it look like they're trying to. Thumb, hard. thank you for delivering my baby. I wish I had five just like you. I mean, what, what attention does a ring finger even get until somebody's married if they're gonna wear a ring on their yeah, thumb? Yeah, ridiculous. That's so stupid. Yeah. Well, you know what? It's time for fingers to have finger power. Yeah, finger, finger pet. Yeah. <laughs> This is a family show, Pinky <laughs> Finger. Honey? Yes? Oh, hi, dear. I went to this TED conference and oh. I heard a lot of great ideas. <laughs> I've heard some of them are new. Yes, this one is going to be very interesting. It's going to change how we live. I want you to go upstairs, get all the light bulbs, and throw them in the garbage. Okay. We don't need light anymore. We're going to get around the house by clicking. It's a full 360 experience. If someone's in the bathroom, you can hear them. That's amazing, honey. I hope he doesn't learn what I do in the bathroom. <laughs> no, it, it takes time. It takes practice, but this is going to be our new life. You know, maybe we can activate some parts of our brain also that have to do with parts of our marriage. <laughs> I think this it might be just a ruse that we need to go through the fearful parts of where we're not connecting as a couple and activate those parts of our brain because we're scared to do so and they're challenges. Oh, look at the time. I got another TED conference to go to. I'm going to be right back. I'll come oh. back with some more ideas. We'll get right on that marriage stuff, I promise. Oh. Hey, Thumb. What up? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, um, you're the 10,000th person that I'm supposed to greet Gosh. on behalf of Minneapolis St. Paul. But I'm afraid because once I do it, I don't know what I'm supposed to do anymore. Well, 
a lot of times you just look at me as a person and ask, are you interested in my background and where Ooh. I came from? Jeez, that's that, different from your high school That friends. sounds a lot like a lot of me projecting onto you. I mean, really, I was just, I signed up for the 10,000 hellos. I thought it would be a committee thing, but it's just, so. Well, you I'm really the 10th, well, I will shake your hand. Can I just, are you planning to stay, I, I hope? Well, it kind of depends on you. You know, if you don't stay, then I have a job still. It's, have I talked to you about the winters here? It is awful. <laughs> I all was... right, all right, class. Uh, settle down, settle down ah, now. Oh, right. no! Hey, hey, come you're on, the worst, come on. Mr. Green, you're the worst! Now I know what you're thinking. Ooh. Oh, great, another year of history from a white guy, all right? But don't worry, because I've hired someone to help out in class. Now, this is our punitive reading officer. Hi, all everybody. Right. Hi. And what's gonna happen, I'm not gonna suspend you, I'm not gonna be one of those uncool teachers, I just have a list of books. No! That you're gonna be forced to read if you act up. Ooh. Now I've integrated the curriculum to include all experiences, so if you could all go to the back of the room and grab the full library of Bill O'Reilly books, I'm sure we're all gonna have a very broad experience. <laughs> I'm sensing some upset emotions in well, class? Well, the only woman writer is Ann Coulter. You know what? You're not going to get to her till second semester, OK? Can you be patient? Can yeah. You, you know what? Do it. Can Do your I think? Ow! <laughs> yeah, how do you like that? You got to read that now. Now. And can I just say, you should see Ann Coulter's thumbs. I mean, really. <laughs> All right. Are the rest of you good with this? You happy? I... No. Don't make me assign Muhammad Ali to anybody. <laughs> I don't want to have to do that. But you guys are acting like you don't like to learn. I don't. <laughs> I want to watch Netflix. Don't. Stranger Things is amazing right now. Even if you don't want to learn, you don't have to act like it. You could just... I mean... It's not it. like anybody's ever created a better way of people experiencing ideas than thick tomes of books. I mean, right. that's ridiculous. Uh, what about Ted here? I mean, there's a sign in the back of the classroom yeah. that has his name on it. And yeah, Ted's got a lot, of good, a lot of good ideas. Yeah. Oh, really? Ted's got a lot of good ideas. Yeah, maybe I do. Better ideas than Bill O'Reilly and Ann Coulter? I'd like to hear them. All right, fine. Ted from Minneapolis, what do you got? That was a big idea. People are gonna come together. Yeah. What they're is gonna they're gonna share ideas at a conference. Oh, <gasps> sharing yeah. good ideas. Okay. Yeah. And they're fine. gonna watch an improv show. And little do they know, delicious desserts are waiting for them in the lobby. <laughs> That'll be the day. Yeah. Will there be two different kinds of, of dinners, but they're just in different geogra geometrical shapes? <laughs> there has to be. Because I have a hard time with that. <laughs> then you need to do some more reading. Here's Killing Lincoln. Oh. <laughs> Wow, thank you. I, I, I didn't know that Ted Cruz's father was part of that. <laughs> well, now you do. All right. Oh, Ted. I hear the ideas in your head. We're going to put your name in red. Yeah. We're going to do it today. We're gonna play together Your ideas are gonna live forever Ted's gonna inspire all of us ah! Because we need it We need Ted to save the frickin' day
I, I had chicken, but I wanted the vegetarian. And it was, it was really cold. I'm sorry, we'll get you another lanyard in three hours. Just oh. wait. Oh. Just wait. But you guys, I need you. Thank you, Ted. Thank you, Ted. Okay, that's a, that's a word time. That's fine. Woo. All right. Uh, thank you all so much. Thank you so much to, uh, can we do a, a tremendous round of applause, first of all, for all the amazing speakers and uh, presenters tonight, and to the amazing people who put this all together, and all the people who have done everything to make this happen. We're the Theater of Public Policy. Uh, please look us up on the Facebook and the Twitter. Uh, and then, uh, until then, we were... Corey LaQuest Bullo. Carmen O'Halloran, Jim Robinson, Brandon Boots, Andrew Hallheim, I'm Tate Danger, and Chad Dutton.